Hi, I'm Dr. Nabalski from Northwest Hair Restoration. Today we're going to talk about eyebrows. Eyebrows are really important and uh, we want to talk about a number of things here. Number one, why are eyebrows so important? Number two, uh, what's the problem with eyebrow hair loss? How does that happen? Number three, how's the eyebrow restoration performed? Number four, what's the recovery like? And then number five, what can you expect in terms of results? So let's talk just briefly about why eyebrows are so important. Really, in essence, eyebrows are frame the eyes, and they're really key socially for being able to express yourself. I mean, raising your eyebrows can, you know, portray a number of different um, expressions and emotions. And then uh, culturally, also, it's important as far as fashion and um, uh, beauty is concerned for women and for men as well. If somebody doesn't have eyebrows, it's usually something that people really notice, or if eyebrows are missing partially. Why would that happen? So let's talk about some of the reasons why people may be losing some or all of their eyebrows. There are numerous medical conditions that can create this problem. Alopecia is one. That's an immune system problem where people can lose all of the eyebrow hair as well as eyelashes, scalp hair, beard hair. Um, sometimes people have diabetes, can have thinning hair on the eyebrows. Uh, thyroid disease can also cause that, high or low thyroid. Uh, some people that are being treated for cancer and have chemotherapy, you can lose all your eyebrow hair. It may not grow back after the chemo is, is finished. And then um, there are also other causes as well. Scarring, is, for instance, can do that, either from burns, chemicals, uh, treatments, or injuries. And sometimes it's self-inflicted. Uh, Overplucking of the eyebrows can be a problem, especially in the uh, uh, medial portions or up on the margins or up underneath it can create, can create pencil thin eyebrows. The methods by which eyebrows can be restored are pretty simple. Um, the most important part of that is being able to design the proper look so that the eyebrow is going to have the, uh, the proper thickness and length and then the eyebrow hair needs to be laid in properly. There are specific designs uh, if you look at eyebrow hair really closely, where the where their hair grows in specific directions, usually in the medial portions here, the hair grows up and in this way, and then on the top portions, the hair tends to grow down this way, and then up underneath in kind of a herringbone fashion, and it should arc over the top of the brow properly and end up in a small little tail. So where does the hair come from? Eyebrow hair is probably best uh, removed from the scalp. Uh, sometimes it can be removed from body hair. Uh, those are less likely to survive, so we typically use scalp hair to do eyebrow restorations. And we try and take hair from the temples or, or lower underneath in the back of the scalp here where the hairs are smaller and finer. In most cases, we're transplanting one single hair at a time, and a typical eyebrow on each side will, uh, to be reconstituted, would require anywhere from four to 600 individual hairs. Um, this can be done in one procedure. Sometimes it takes two procedures to get the proper density that, uh, for a person to be satisfied with the look of their, of their brows once the surgery is completed. In this video, you can see how the technique is performed. We have a special implanter device that is used, and it creates a small incision at the same time as, as the hair follicle is being inserted. This eliminates the need to physically handle the follicle, which improves the survival and also gives us more accuracy in terms of placing these grafts at the proper angle. It's really important to be able to lay them really flat because that's how eyebrow hair lays. And so when it grows out that the hair isn't, you know, going in the opposite direction that it needs to. So you can see once this is done, the eyebrow hair is laying flat. It looks very natural. And this is the way it will grow back in once it heals up. So what's the recovery like after an eyebrow restoration procedure? Not very difficult as it turns out. There can be a little bit of bruising around the upper and lower eyelids and that usually clears in about four to five days. Uh, there are some small little crusts on the places where the grafts go in and those are cleaned every day using a little bit of baby shampoo and rinsing with a cup of water. And then you place a little film of antibiotic ointment over the top. In about two to four weeks, the hairs that were transplanted will shed, and then new ones will begin to grow in between four and six months. The full uh, result of your procedure will be evident between six and eight months. So if you're interested in eyebrow restoration, contact us at Northwest Hair Restoration for a free consultation, and we'll review all your options and provide a customized plan to provide you with the eyebrows that meet your expectations. Thank you for listening.